Hi, Dusty. Hi, Mike. I need three cups of coffee. Three cups of coffee? Three cups. so happy in the mornings it takes me forever just to open myself up I know what you mean I I just gotta slap something before I can wake up so I just hey, slap hey, my face. Hey. <sighs> well you know I guess it might be because I had that great coffee this morning oh I can still taste those fresh roasted Colombian beans you know, that's what makes me so mad because, see, you get to have all this good food and, and drink and everything and, like, 50 cups of coffee every day, and I don't ever get to taste a single one. You're right, I. You know, I just shove fork full after fork full of food into Mr. Mouth here, and I don't get to taste any of it. <sighs> Chill out, you guys. I mean, yeah, I get to taste everything, but let me tell you, not everything that Mr. Mike here wants to eat is all that tasty. Do y'all remember that peanut butter and mustard sandwich that stomach just yeah. had to have? Oh, I barely even choked that thing down. Besides, I hear he gets all the fun. He gets to see the whole world around us. <sighs> Man, it would be nice to see the world around us. All I do is sit here and type on the computer all day and just dump coffee into the mouth here. <sighs> well, why don't we switch places? I mean... I've always wanted to sip on a nice frothy latte or, or taste a plate of cheese fries or even hum that stupid song might get stuck in his head after watching Barney. Guys, I don't think switching places would be a good idea. You know, if you get to be me, then I get to be you. Because I, I want to see for a change what hand keeps shoving into me all day. And, and I want to see the beautiful sky above and... and I want to look into the eyes of other people, and I want to be I. Listen, guys, this is not a good idea. Well, look, I got to hand it to you, hand. <laughs> <laughs> You're a real mood killer, you know that? Look, if I want to be mouth, and mouth wants to be me, then we're going to do it because I want to be mouth. That's right, and I want to be I. So you just better back off because there are some adjustments that need to be made here. This is not going to end well. Come on, let's switch. Danger, All right. Danger, 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 danger. Oh, man, what's going on? I just don't feel... What? Oh! I'm in possession. Hey, wait a minute. I don't see anything. I can't see. What's the problem here? I mean, I'm where I need to be, but I, I still can't see anything. Hey, I, can you see? Can you see, I? I mean, can you speak? We know I'm speaking. What's going on here? This doesn't make any sense. Everything's just going crazy. Oh, no! <laughs> It's not me who's gone crazy. Do you guys realize what you have done? You're making the body function in the wrong way. Mouth, can you actually see anything up there being the eyes? Well, not really. An eye, can you taste anything or talk? No. Of course not. You guys were made for a specific purpose. And you're not going to work in the right way trying to be somewhere you're not supposed to be and do something you're not supposed to do. I, 
Do you remember what you read in devotions this morning? Uh, yeah, it was uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Uh, it said the human body has many parts, and, and those parts make up a whole body. So that is the body of Christ. Yeah, and then I remember he was reading aloud, and he said something about, you know, God made the body with all these parts, and he put all the parts right where he wanted them. But what, what does that have to do with us? Well, you see, Mouth, the Bible says that the church is the body of Christ and that each person should use their gift to the goal of spreading the gospel. You and I were both part of Mike's body, and you each have a specific role to fill. Mouth, you were made by God to talk and to taste, and I was made to see. No, you weren't. I was. That's what I said. I was made to see. No, you weren't. I was. I said I was. I was. Okay, okay. You guys need to stop because you're really confusing brain. Well, Mike's brain is not hard to confuse. True. <laughs> Sorry, brain. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. What are you going to do? Uh, you better watch it. He's got more oh, power than you think. Okay, so now that you guys realize just how important it is that you use your gifts in the right way, are we ready to get Mike's body back to normal? What? Mike's normal? <laughs> Mike and normal should never be used in the same sentence, period. <laughs> you guys, are you ready to do this? Yeah, sure, I if, guess so. If our body is an example of how those in the church should work together, then we need to make sure that we are functioning together. Stations, everyone. Let's get this body back in the right places. Oh, man, that was weird. Did I just see what I think I saw? I don't know. Maybe I need to lay off the coffee. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Much better now. See, so what was that passage again? First Corinthians? 